Breakfast Buzz, brought to you by the largest weekly 50-50 in Canada. Buy your tickets today. I feel like we have a weekly mention now with Ma Lewis paintings because it seems like her legacy just grows and grows every single year. I saw that Mavi, the movie, is now on Netflix as of about a month ago. Okay, yeah. So there's another resurgence. There was a record-selling Ma Lewis painting that sold member in Ontario, the grilled cheese story. Yeah. Grilled cheese in exchange for a Ma yeah. Lewis turned into a, a couple in Ontario getting, I think, 350000 for a Ma Lewis original a couple months ago. So here's some more news for you. The largest buyer and seller of original Ma Lewis works here in Atlanta, Canada, has recently picked up a Ma Lewis original. There it is. And it is expected to sell at a record price for this particular work. Uh, Chad Brown, we've had him on the show actually, he flew to Toronto to pick this Ma Lewis original up wow. in person. It's called Eddie Barnes Lobsterman, Bayview, Nova Scotia. It was painted in 1964. And according to Chad, out of over 45 Ma originals that he's purchased, this one is by far the best he's ever seen. Wow. Uh, believe it or not, this identical image was found in a thrift shop in Ontario and gained national attention and sold for a record 45000 That was back in 2017. And at that time, in 2017, that was unheard of. So, so much has changed now in, in terms of Ma Lewis and uh, just her, her, you know, her legacy and, and her popularity, especially in the last couple of years. My in-laws have a couple of those Ma Lewis paintings in their basement, but I guess they're prints or something. They're probably prints. Because there's one very similar to that one. I'm like, if they're that original, that call. Give them a call. I don't think they are. Yeah, that's amazing. So this particular painting, one you just saw there, listed at seventy thousand oh. dollars. Modprints.ca if you have that money sitting around, but we'll see what it goes for. This could be another record-breaking uh, mod print. So Chad really excited about this. And yeah, man. He does such a cool job. He just goes around the world, really, and collects these mod Lewis paintings and prints. And, and he's like in Pantown. He's out in Pantown. He's the biggest seller and buyer here in Atlanta, Canada. So uh, pretty cool what he does. And he's, he's I, I will say, like, he is his business, but he is right. so incredibly passionate about mod and about her legacy, too. He really, he knows everything. He's such an expert. So... He's awesome. So morning, Chad, if you're watching, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see. We'll keep up to date with that one to see if it goes at 70000 or more, that particular painting. Oh, this payday for us. We could pool our money together, I guess. It'd look nice in the background. Highlight like a, a, a centimeter of that painting is what we could afford. Right? <laughs> yeah. Frame it in the world's tiniest frame. Frame for ants. <laughs> um, all right, let's take a look at uh, morning.